Identical twins are more common than you probably think. One in every 250 pregnancies end up with two little peas in a pod. But how identical are identical twins? Are some more identical than others? And what part does nature and nurture play in how similar they are once they're adults? When it comes to twins, they're a big hit in Australia. And uh, joining us now from Queensland, Australia, Bridget and Paula Powers. Hello, Bridget and Paula. Wow, look at you guys. You really Hello. are twins. We fell in love with Bridget and Paula, who went viral for speaking in tandem. No, this is us and we're, that's how we are. But wait, there's more. Come here, let me unlock my phone. My phone's locked as well. Identical twins, Jason and Jaden. Uh, yeah, growing up, but we've always done the exact same thing, but we just thought it was normal. They couldn't be more similar. It's like we look at life the same, and then like sometimes we just look at each other and just start laughing at the most randomest of things. Born three minutes apart, they're inseparable. Jason and Jaden still live at home in Sydney's West. We're pretty much like the same person because like we were all in the same classes we had the same friend group went to uni together we pretty much like right now we work in the same job they're about to be joined by other sets of identical twins part of a unique social investigation coming to channel 9 australia's most identical so did you learn anything about yourselves that you didn't know before an interesting thing that i learned on the show was that they did a 3D scan of our face and it said that we are 99.8% compatible. The only difference was that his nose is slightly bigger. But your ears are bigger. Yeah, but my ears are bigger, according to the 3D diagram. But everything else was this um, almost identical. From physical comparisons to intellectual and personality tests, identical twins put under the microscope. But before the show goes to air, we thought we'd do our own quick test. On the count of three, I want you to say your favourite colour. Three, two, one, blue. What's your favourite food? Three, two, one, Eljana. What was your favourite subject at school? Three, three two, one, maths. Maths. Nerds. Um, who's the better looking twin? Three, two, two one. Me. <laughs> The Blocks, Scott Cam and former athlete Yana Pittman host the show. Scott and Yana, both parents to twins. Well, we're about to find out how close our top 20 are in facial appearance. Identical twins, Hamid and Mahdi, grew up in Iran before they moved to Australia. We are electricians, we do mainly electronic security, uh, so we work together always. So I don't need to talk to someone, so my brother's... All Available, we drive together, so... So, you grew up together, you went to school together, you studied together, and now you work together. Do you ever get sick of each other? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens. <laughs> it's, or maybe it takes maybe uh, 10 minutes or two hours, that's it, and finish. The dream was to marry twins, which became a reality when they met Iranian sisters Nazini and Nahid. Because we are twins, we like to wear twin yeah. clothes. <laughs> I think it's nice. Yeah. And yes, they're having babies at the same time. For our due date, yeah, the same, just maybe three days different. The two couples now live together in Western Sydney. How do you feel about being mothers at the same time? Most people would be shocked by that. It was, was that just a total coincidence? I think it's really good to have a baby together. We can support each other, they can grow up together, help each other to, uh, in a school in future. I think it's really better and easier. They can play together. It's really good, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. A new spin on twinning, Australia's most identical, premieres on 9 and 9 now, next Tuesday, right after A Current Affair.